Hi, I'm Mike Kilalea with drillingcontractor.org and IEDC. Thanks for tuning in to this video. I'm here today at the Society of Petroleum Engineers Annual Technical Conference and Exhibition um, to have the pleasure to talk to Mr. George Caperna, who is co-chairman of the upcoming 2009 SPE International Conference on CO2 Capture, Storage, and Utilization, which is coming up in November in San Diego, California. So we're going to talk to George. Uh, Mr. Caperna, thanks a lot for your time. Really appreciate it. Could you tell us a little bit about the mission and the overall goals of the conference? What we're really trying to do with this conference is gather what might be the uh, industry-wide experts on the application of well drilling, reservoir applications, uh, completion applications in the oil industry, and particularly around the areas of CO2 storage and utilization. In other words, enhanced oil recovery, gas storage applications, draw on that expertise as it pertains to carbon storage. Excellent. This is a whole new area. I understand there's a lot of government funding for this. Um, in terms of uh, businesses out there, what kind of commercial opportunities for wells and developing infrastructure might there ultimately be? Oh, the, the commercial application of carbon storage and sequestration can be a tremendous uh, boost to the economy when you begin to think about the numbers of wells that may need to be drilled, uh, existing wells that may require workovers, uh, infrastructure needs in and around storage fields or even, even oil fields as it pertains to EOR. Uh, you're looking at very large capital outlays, very large development projects. Okay, why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about the structure of the conference? Uh, sounds like it's a pretty broad ranging event. It is, and thank you. There's about three primary goals and tiers that we have to this, this conference. So we're going to open with a plenary session, and we're going to touch on some of the issues related to capture technologies. We're going to look at transportation and infrastructure and what the issues may be there. Mm -hmm. And probably even more importantly, when you begin to think about carbon storage, what the issues pertaining to the legal aspects of this might be. We're breaking new ground here with the, some research and certainly running alongside that in parallel are the legal ramifications of that. Then we're gonna move over to the actual conference itself and we're gonna kinda of go cradle to grave here. We're looking at things from how do you choose a site, how do you efficiently inject and, or drill and complete wells, how do you inject, and then how do you monitor the CO2 molecules in the Earth's subsurface? And, and really that's important from the accounting standpoint when you begin to think about the potential for carbon credits and things like that. Um, and then the third tier is really to kind of bring out some of the, the research projects at the university and science level. And we're going to have some poster sessions. And that's really going to highlight ongoing research and hopefully bring that to, to people that are very interested in it. I understand when we talked earlier, George, that there are some uh, very important concerns that the EPA has with well design, and I understand there's some challenges in storing CO2. Can you talk a little bit about those challenges? Well design is hitting it right on the head, Mike. When you begin to think about drilling a well and being able to safely inject carbon dioxide into the, into the earth, uh, you begin to think about a time scale that's way beyond what we normally do in the oil and gas industry. And integrity of that well is going to be very important how it's drilled, how it's completed, very, very important. And, and the EPA is really keeping an eye on that and beginning to formulate standards that are gonna kind of govern that. And that, that's where some of the testing and, and science is really going towards. And then when you begin to think about how much volume of CO2 is going to be going into the earth, you begin to think about commercial applications that are much larger than scale than let's say very giant oil and gas reservoirs, very large natural gas storage applications. You're beginning to think about things that cover counties and, and tens of miles, square miles rather than small oil field applications. Thanks a lot for your time, George. It sounds like it's going to be a very fascinating event. Uh, that conference is going to be two to four November in San Diego. And uh, to our listeners out there, you know, it ain't your father's oil field anymore. Things are changing worldwide for our business, but at the same time, there's new opportunities that could become available in the bigger future. CO2 capture storage, that could be something to put a lot of rigs to work, use a lot of tubulars, 
and it's something looming on the frontier for all of us, just as some of the other greener technologies, like enhanced geothermal drilling, things of that nature, could come. So there is a very promising future for our business, um, regardless of where the price of oil may or may not be. So thanks again for tuning in to drillingcontractor.org, and uh, stay tuned. We'll have also some more details on the CO2 conference and on uh, the technology and scope of this uh, of this development on our website. So thanks again and see you again soon. Bye.